so let us start with the data wrangling uh, let us see what is the data wrangling uh, this uh, see uh, as we are in this world of data this data is very deep complex and always expanding as we all know about it right so it's easy to understand why we have the right data in the first place can make all the difference in the business so business leaders rely on the data and information to make a business decisions when this information is incorrect it could lead to significant downfalls or we may miss some opportunities or we may have some unnecessary risk also and that's the reason the data is should be very much correct for making the business decisions the process of data wrangling exists to ensure that data is ready for automation and machine learning to combat this but a time consuming nature of a data wrangling could mean that you uh, your business decisions may be delayed and cause undesirable consequences right and thus uh, we required the efficient method for data wrangling also uh, automation tools have helped to resolve the slow and all too often manual process of data wrangling now let us see what is this data wrangling so data wrangling refers to the process of cleaning organizing and enriching the raw data so that it can be used for decision making uh, this raw data is any piece of repository information that has yet to be processed or integrated in a system it can come from in, uh, in the form of text images and database record uh, right so data wrangling also called as data mining also which tend to be the most time intensive aspect of the data processing so this data wrangling takes a lots of a time uh, uh, and uh, even we should know that uh, the data scientist take up about 75% of their time to complete this data wrangling it is a time intensive because it's uh, essential to be accurate since the data is pulled from the different sources and then often used by automation tool for machine learning the data wrangling includes uh, taking data from different sources and putting it at one place then uh, piecing together the data and cleaning the data to the account for missing elements or inaccuracies right so this is all my uh, data wrangling is all about correct okay. uh, we'll see the importance of good data why do we read a good data uh, because in the simplest terms what we can say the data wrangling is so crucial because it's the only way to make the raw data usable it is the only way where we convert the data into the information it is the only way where we can see the value in the data so many times in a practical business setting customer information or financial information comes in the different pieces from the different departments so sometimes this information gets stored on the various computers <coughs> across the different spreadsheets on the different systems including the legacy systems leading to the data duplication incorrect data or the data uh, which can't be found to be used to create a whole picture of this what happens generally in a business so what happens this in the business this data is decentralized you can take an example uh, say take an example of a bank applications right so uh, this bank uh, the branches are uh, all over in india so every branch have their own servers and uh, at that their server machines at the, uh, over there in the branch we may have the data so suppose i want to just include the data or have the repository of a data related to loan applications from the different branches then uh, uh, even in the different branches there may be a different uh, data uh, data entry operators or different the ways in, in the different ways the data will be entered even it is saved in the different formats also somewhere it is in a csv somewhere it will be in excel some may store in pdf some may stores in a word document so like this we have a variety of variations available in the data so what does this good data wrangling do so good data wrangling involves piecing together the raw data and also understanding the business context of a data in this way a good data wrangler will be able to interpret clean and transform a data into valuable insights 
uh so uh, even automation tools also reduce the error maps out the processes to reduce the crucial man dependency as well so the, the, this is why i say the good data wrangling involves uh piecing together the raw data and then the understanding the business context of that uh, understanding the value of that particular data and that's the reason we require the good data wrangling methods as well these data wrangling activities uh, are uh, discovering structuring cleaning enriching validating and publication publishing right so let's see this activities one by one uh, it is a six step process as we have seen um, and it uh, so first step is discovery uh, in the discovering process uh, we try to understand the data and what it is about before we clean the data or fill in the missing information it is very much crucial or important to know what is the data is going to be used for with this knowledge we can better organize the information so once we understand why we need the data we will be able to determine the best approach to analyze the data and that's the reason the discovery phase is also very much important uh, uh, to get uh, the understanding of a uh, data then we have the structuring phase uh, in most of the instances companies have data stored with no organization what does it mean there is no structuring of data so when data is input and coming from the different sources there is no structure for it as such a data needs to be restructured and to be used based on this uh, steps uh, you can understand how to categorize and separate the data so structuring uh, mostly do the categorization and separation of the data and thus the structuring is a second phase which is also important in the data wrangling then we have the cleaning uh, so we have done with this uh, discovering uh, structuring so next process is my cleaning process so before we start to input the data into an analysis software uh we need to make sure that it the data is clean cleaning data removes duplicates null values and relies on formatting to make data high quality you will also want to understand the data uh, you will also want to standardize this data so this is where you will uh, write all information in a column in the same way as uh, given uh, for example uh, you may write in for india or you may write all caps for india all uh, all small letter for india so what you have to do in the standardization of a data so either you write Okay, everything in a IN format as India, or you just mention a complete of India, right? So only one standardized format is followed all over the data. Cleaning data is crucial uh, because uh, uh, it is it do the data mapping and data accuracy. Automation software also uh, connects directly with system, and we can set up the rules to automatically clean the data. Uh, map data are removing uh, any guesswork and saving the vast amounts of time by automating this uh, very manual low value task of cleaning the data right so we have seen the three steps uh, discovering structuring and cleaning now let's move to the fourth step the fourth step is enriching so uh, is your data ready to be used after cleaning can i use it directly so that's for you to analyze and decide so if we think that we need to augment or add additional data to make it better then we can enrich the data by finding ways to add more information so we can add something more information and make the data richer correct okay? so you can use existing data to derive the additional information uh for example if uh, if we work in the insurance company and need to underwrite home insurance then uh, we likely will want to know the crime rate data in the city to access the risk about giving the insurance right so this is how i make the uh, the uh, richness uh, how i add the richness to the data the next is validating uh, so uh, I, we may need to clean and enrich but if it is not accurate uh, we we may run into the problems again and we may uh, we may have uh, we may not have the required accuracy in our experiments also so to make sure that my data is valid and creditable 
uh, we have to uh, run a check across all the data to ensure the attributes are typically distributed and we need to validate the data uh, before using it and the last step of this data wrangling is publishing so for organizations to use the data after wrangling process has been completed you we need to publish and share the information so this could come in the form of uploading the data to an automation software or storing the file in a location where the organization knows it is ready to be used it's also a good idea to document the steps taken and logic used in the data wrangling process for the future references so this is all about my data wrangling